Hello everyone and welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Binky B and this will be another Rise of the Eldrazi draft. Once again the rare is pretty unexciting but we have a couple of great options actually. We have Domestication which I think I'm going to take. It's uh, kind of sweet. Mind controls generally are. Then we have a Fork Bolt which is okay. Inquisition, which is also okay. Dawn Glare Invoker, which I think is extremely good and probably the second best card in the pack. Distortion Strike, Induced Despair is also up there. Uh, and that's basically it. Domestication, Invoker, Induce, and I think Induce is the weakest of them. And uh, yeah, I will take this and hopefully we like Distortion Strike or something, but we will see. Okay. This is kind of interesting. We have Surreal Memoir as basically the only good card <coughs> except the Nest Invader. And blue green is okay. But I'm more into red. I think red is really good in Rise of Zeldras and uh, uh, red blue is quite good. I guess we could go green and maybe go three colors. But I think picking this up early is really sweet so I'm gonna do that okay we have a nomads assembly which is quite good and we have an emeracles hatcher essence feed puncturing light I think emeracles hatcher is the best card it's not re quite as powerful as nomads assembly but this takes a fair bit of work so I'm happy to take the hatcher here. This is also a pretty nice card, especially with uh, Surreal Memoirs. We also have a Regress. I'm pretty high on taking a second Surreal Memoir and go like Grixis Control or something. This could be too slow. Regress is really good though, but I think I'm gonna take another Surreal Memoir. <coughs> see where we go from there. Okay, we have a Deprive and Wrapping Flames, and I think it's easier to get a Wrapping Flames, so Deprive is pretty, it's a pretty easy pick here. I see, we have a Guard Duty, which is pretty good. <coughs> Perish the Thought, which is also pretty good. Uh, Spawning Breath is more of a sideboard card, I think, than a mainboard card. But Cadaver Imp I like a lot, so I'm gonna take that and see where we end up. We haven't seen much blue and we haven't seen much black either, I guess. Overall, the packs have been pretty weak, so uh, we'll see where we end up. But I think Cadaver Imp is a, a pretty good card. Some mediocre green, white, and blue cards, and one good black card, so I guess we'll take that. Not certain we will play it, but we might end up like blue, black, splashing, surreal memoirs. That's not <coughs> too bad. Another guard duty. Well, I will take <coughs> a gloom hunter and be decently happy with it, I guess. I'm looking at picking up more like induced despair, last kiss. Uh, Stagger Shock, Flame Slash is insanely good, Regress, basically <coughs> spells. Okay. Hmm. The Invoker is not that great, but I'm not that high on picking a second Inquisition. We could take a Vent Sentinel, but that's not really where I want to go. <coughs> we could also take the Distortion Strike kind of aim for <coughs> a more tempo oriented deck but I think the invoker will be the best one generic 2 drop or generic 3 drop I guess it will be the 2 drop it actually has an upside <coughs> so we're still looking to pick up good, uh, good instance and so far we have one uh, do you want a shrivel or an elambra? 
Don't think it's hard to pick up any of those, but I guess... Shrivel is a bit better. Don't think we'll play any of those, but you never know. <coughs> sure. So I don't think this was a <coughs> fantastic start. The first card was really good and the Surreal Memoirs is very powerful so or they are very powerful so all we need is a few good instants and they will be great. I wouldn't mind a mnemonic wall or something. So this one is crap, right? Yes. <coughs> so we have Dreamstone Hedron which is pretty good. And uh, Overgrown Battlement, which is good. Prophetic Prism could be something. We have a Skywatcher and an Ulamog's Crusher. I'm leaning towards the Prism. But we do want one of the big finishers. But I think here I will take the Prism. Not the first pick I'm really excited about, but I think it's okay. Now, this is a pack. We have Gravitational Shift, which is actually very strong in some decks. We have another domestication which I think I'll take again. Evolving Wilds, Flame Slash and uh, another Regress. And none of those cards will wheel unfortunately but we're looking to be more blue-black it seems so and domestication is really that good. Uh, no. So we have Hall of Omens. No. We have a Seagate Oracle and a Regress. <coughs> I think both are pretty good. Uh, right now we have one instant, so I think we're bound to take the Regress here. Although I really like Seagate Oracle, but Regress is also very good. So let's see what we can pick up. Seems like black and red could be kind of contested, so we will see. We have a Brood Warden, which is kind of cool. We have a Skeletal Worm, which is a decent finisher. Battle Rattler, Brood Burning, Essence Feed. But I'm looking at Last Kiss and Seagate Oracle. And Last Kiss is like a bad um, Stagger Shock, but it's better than none of them. I think I'm just gonna take that. I still like the Seagates a lot, but I need to prioritize instants at this point. Oust is good, but probably not for us. Crab Armor is pretty bad. Battle Rampart seems kinda weak. Don't like Hand of Emrakul either. Coastal Experator is really good. I guess we'll take a Vent Sentinel. Hmm. Maybe we just don't play red. Oust is quite good and Coastal Experator is pretty good. I think it's better to take one of them as a speculation than anything else. And I, I think green has been a bit more open, so... Ah, uh, now let's just take the Oust. I don't think we'll switch colors, but you never know. Alright, so the Griffin is the best car, but Skywatcher Adept is perfectly reasonable, so we'll pick that up. <laughs> Another host. We have a Blood Right Invoker, which is pretty good actually. A Dread Run, which is also fine, and we have a Sea Beyond. That's kind of interesting what we want here. I don't think it's the Dread Drone. It is pretty good, but we have nothing to ramp for right now. Seabion I like a lot. Just to filter through the cards you don't need. But Blood Rite Invoker is a pretty good win condition. I am gonna take him. Alright, we have another Cadaver Imp and nothing else, so get in there. Uh, 
we have basically nothing and I guess we have rune servitor if we want but I think you're gonna take bleeding distraction it's a pretty good card with surreal memoir if you don't have anything else to do I do think escape null is decent it does what we want it to do so sure and we're looking more and more blue black and less red which is fine by me oh that's nice it's really nice not even looking at the soft shade because I don't think he's that good when people are dumping 8 mana into Ulamog's Crusher you're dumping 8 mana into um, oh, pumping him uh, for a short time I think Essence Feed is decent but here I'm gonna take Skeletal Worm just so I don't have to worry about that uh, sure alright all the crab umbras so it's still decent and we could potentially switch out red and just not play it alright this is also a pack we have a seagate a regress we have a lava fume invoker which is quite good another cadaver imp they do get better in multiples blood throne we have a corpse hatch which is really good brimstone mage is it's pretty good. Lord of Shadowskull Pass. Hmm. Is that better than Corpse Hatch? That's what I'm trying to figure out. We won't have that many red sources. How many removals do we have? We have one count spell, one last case, one regress, and a few. I think. I am going to take the corpse hatch actually. I do recognize the power level of this. It's extremely powerful, but I don't think he's for our deck. We're not red enough, so corpse hatch it is. Uh, I don't think that's very good. A foil tree speaker. Alright, so we have the guard, which is pretty good, another invoker, lay bar, which is okay, and we have a vendetta, and that's the card we're going to take. Angel Heart Vial, I think, is okay, but it's online on turn 6, and then you're probably dead, so. Bowler Foot, no. Pawn is okay. Dead Rone again, okay. Last Kiss, okay, but. I think here the pick is narcolepsy. It fills a hole we don't have yet, so that's nice. Here we have a cutthroat and nothing else, and that's pretty sweet, so let's take that. And there we have a wall. Mammoth Armor is pretty good. The prime is still pretty good. I think I'm gonna take the wall. We don't need more than one finisher when we have two cadaver imps, but right now I don't think. Emrakul's Hatcher is not making the cut. The, the question is if those are good enough. We have a Vendetta, dist Bleeding Distraction, Deprive, Regress, Last Kiss. They might still be decent, but I'm gonna take the wall. And then make some cuts depending on where we land at the end. I think this deck looks pretty sweet. What do we have now? We have Vendetta, Narcolepsy, Last Kiss Regress, Corpse Hatch. Yeah, that's pretty good. Blood Right Invoker is also pretty good. Let's see here. Another Guard, still good. Uh, the Scorpion is better than it looks. But we have a Wave Watch, which I kinda like. It's an early blocker, doesn't die too much and it becomes a win condition so that's my pick. Wow, that, this is a extremely good pack going this late. What does Echo Mage do for us? 
Hika, Coppers, Flaming Distractions, Vendettas, Corpse Hatches. Uh, we could just take Induce Despair, which is. We know what we're getting with that. What do we have for card where we have a Fleeing Distraction? It's basically it. I think. Echo Mitch is sweet, but I'm more into Induced Despair actually, sadly enough. And here, I think Wonder Prime is enough. I'm gonna take another Wave Watch. And now we have to cut. I think Red is not making the cut. And. Kind of like what we have up here. The observers are pretty bad. Could cut those. <coughs> I think we can cut Inquisition too and the Fleeting Distraction. They're just not that great anymore. Do we want a third Cadaver Imp? Yeah, probably. The Guard and a Totem Guide is light. Jeez. Actually, actually, yeah, I'm gonna take the totem guide, splash the oust, because we have two domestications we can fetch, <laughs> and an orcalypse. Yeah, that seems more than good. Let's take an elambra. Let's take a slinger. Sure, why not? If we want more big stuff. Hmm. I think, yeah, I think it's <coughs> worth splashing that. We only have the prophetic prism, but we do have some card in Seagate Oracle or filtering rather. So I think it will be all right. I would like one uh, evolving wilds <coughs> as well, but I think that could be okay. So let's see. You go down, you go down. You're down. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a bit of a sore throat today. So we need to cut four cards, I'd say. And I think. I think the Gloom Hunter is probably the first one to go. I don't really like him in this deck. The Deprive could go. Yeah, yeah, it could probably go to the sideboard. I'm looking at the Invoker, it's not that fantastic. We're looking to like keep the ground, trade away death touchers and stuff and the escape nulls and returning them. We could return the wall a bunch of times. It could be the last kiss but I kinda like having one smaller removal spell as well. Gain life could be relevant. Maybe 17 lands is okay actually. We don't have that much up here. I think the invoker is the next one to go then. Yep. Bye bye. See what you say. Two planes. I kinda agree. Six islands. I don't really agree on that. We have a lot of double black in the middle, but we don't want to play them on turn three anyway. And I think I'll go with this and see where we end up. Yeah, that's fine. I'll see you shortly for match one.